Hello, let's look at a solved problem on time dilation. So we have a stationary observer on Earth having a clock A and we have some astronauts moving on a spaceship at a constant velocity of 108,000 kilometers per hour that makes those astronauts uh, inertial frame. We have to find out the improper time interval as measured by the stationary observer on clock A given a flight duration of 6 hours. Let's take a few seconds to recap the theory. The stationary observer will measure 6 hours on his clock. He and his clock are moving together. The astronauts will also measure exactly 6 hours on their clock because they and their clock are moving together at a constant velocity. So with respect to themselves, the, their own clock is stationary. But to the stationary observer on Earth, it will appear as if the astronaut's clock is moving slowly. So that is the improper time interval. So the improper time interval will be longer than the accurate proper time interval. Now plug in the equation delta t improper is equal to delta t proper into the ratio gamma. The velocity of the spaceship needs to be converted into the same unit as for the velocity of light. So we convert 108,000 kilometers per hour into meters per second. The calculation is shown here. The velocity of light is of course 3 into 10 to the power 8 meters per second. Now we can proceed to calculate the proper time interval. Plugging into the formula, you will get gamma as 1 by root of 1 minus v squared by c squared. Of course, the velocity v is much less than c, so you can expect a very small difference in the delta t improper as compared to the delta t proper. So going through the calculation, you can see it is 6.0000003 hours. And uh, that's uh, once again because the speed of the spaceship is very small as compared to the uh, speed of light. I hope this uh, solved problem is useful for you. Thanks and have a great day.